Hi everyone, so I did a Morrison shop this week and I ended up spending quite a bit. I wanted to do like a really small shop this week but it just turned, didn't turn out that way. So I've got the milk as usual, the semi skimmed and the whole milk for you in. And there's the almond and sweeter milk for me. There's uh, petit filou for the kids. There's uh, minced beef and then I've got minced pork because I'm planning on making some uh, meatballs and then freezing them. I've got some... Um, Vegetarian hard cheese, which is basically sort of like parmesan, just to go in the meatballs. And then I've got these Muller Lite, uh, there's coconut flavoured yogurts, and there's lemon flavoured yogurts. And then I've got Tom these frozen tubes again because he loves them. Then I've got him some Dairy Lee Dunkers for his lunchbox for nursery. I've got some um, breaded ham, some Bernard Matthews turkey for me, that was only a pound. And then I've got some. Um, Pepperami that was on offer, some sausages which I'll get two meals out of, some bacon, fruit shoots that's for Tom, some um, Heinz beans, parsley, there's um, this low fat garlic and herb dressing for me, red kidney beans, so two tins of sweet corn, two tins of chopped tomatoes, then oh, I've got a whole chicken here which I'll get two meals out of I'm hoping. There's some King's Mill 50-50 wraps, which we're going to try. Some porridge oats, rich tea biscuits, um, some club orange bars. Um, I got myself some more of these naked bars because I was really impressed with the way they taste. A bit on the pricey side, but these were two for a pound, which isn't too bad. But there's the cashew cookie and the cocoa orange. I got some baguettes because I'm planning on making some meatball subs for dinner. Um, that I've got some organic finger foods, so sweet corn for Ewan, hot cross buns because it's February, so <laughs> it's obviously time to start buying hot cross buns. Um, some quavers, some dry shampoo, and then I've got this extra body styling mousse, um, some cheese and onion Walker's crisps, um, a Valentine's Day card for Matt. Um, ready break, sugar, some um, very strong wholemeal flour, and then some um, cow and gate for Ewan. Okay, so produce for this week, there's actually not really any veg there apart from the peppers, um, and that's because we've still got loads left over from last week, and it all lasts. So, um, I bought this living basil, that is just like my favourite smell in the world the smell of basil. So I'm thinking of making some homemade pesto this week. Then some living thyme as well because I use thyme all the time. Um, blueberries. There's some almonds, two packs of those. I might take them over to Dad's and make some almond butter, I'm not sure. Some pine nuts for the pesto. Seedless grapes, the red ones. Um, some bean sprouts for a stir fry. Some bananas. Some baby spinach. Sweet and crunchy salad. Um, a bit of ginger and some bell peppers and then some white cabbage all that came to um well that came to 79 pound 30. so the meal plan for this week um it's monday today so tonight we've got chicken stir fry tomorrow i'm going to do meatball subs with some salad and then wednesday i'm going to do chicken wrapped in uh, bacon with the pesto like a homemade pesto pasta with some salad probably there's thursday it's going to be chicken stew actually it might be turkey we've still got loads of leftover turkey in the freezer so it'll be turkey stew and dumplings with some veg friday will be toad in the hole or just sausage and mash i'm not sure yet um saturday will be a takeaway it's valentine's day so it might be an indian or something like that and then sunday i'm working so I don't really know what Matt wants to do, but I put chicken and chorizo paella down as like a, a suggestion for him. So yeah, that's our meal plan for the week, and I hope you enjoyed, and thank you for watching.